Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on how to load a report from Bold Reports report servers for ASP.NET MVC applications. Before getting into the steps, let's take a look at Bold Reports report servers. The servers act as a report management studio, provided by Syncfusion, that allows the user to create, manage, and share a report with everyone securely and easily. In this video, I will show you the steps to create an ASP.NET MVC application, and the steps to load an already published SSR SRDL report from the report servers. First, let's see how to generate the personal access token from the report servers. To generate the personal access token, first you need to log in to whichever report server you're using. You will see the list of reports that are published to the report server. To generate the personal access token, click the user icon from the left navigation bar. Then click the user profile. You will be redirected to the My Profile page. Click the personal access token in the top panel. In the personal access token page, click the generate token button. A confirmation dialog is displayed to generate the personal access token. Click the yes button. You will see that the bearer token is displayed in the authentication token text box. Click the click to copy button to copy the generated access token. Now, let's see how to create the ASP.NET MVC application. Open Visual Studio 2019 and click Create a New Project. Select ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework. Click the Next button and change the application name. I named my application as MVC Report Viewer Report Server. Click the Create button. The Create a new ASP.NET Web Application dialog will open. Select MVC. Check the MVC and Web API checkboxes. Click the Create button. The ASP.NET MVC Web Application has been created. Now, let's install the NuGet packages. In the Solution Explorer tab, right click the project or solution and choose Manage NuGet Packages. In the Browse tab, search for the boldreports.mvc5 package and install it in your MVC application. Similarly, install the boldreports.javascript package. I have mentioned the purpose of each package in the following table. The boldreports.mvc5 package contains HTML helpers to create a client-side report viewer control. The boldreports.javascript package contains reporting components, scripts, and style sheets. Now let's add the assembly reference. Open the web.config file from the views folder. And add the boldreports.mvc assembly reference to the system.web.webpages.razor element. Open the web.config file from the application root folder. Set the value of unobtrusive JavaScript enabled to false. If you want to use unobtrusive JavaScript enabled, then add a reference to the ej.unobtrusive.min.js script in your application. You can refer to the script from the install location. Now, let's reference the scripts and styles. Open underscore layout.cshtml from the view slash shared folder and add the necessary references to the scripts and style sheet. In this video, I am using local scripts and a style sheet. You can also use scripts and a style sheet from the CDN links. The purpose of each script and style sheet is explained in the following table. bold.reports.all.min.css includes the CSS properties for the JavaScript reporting component. The jQuery 1.10.2 script is used to render the Syncfusion JavaScript reporting widgets. ej2base.min.js, ej2data.min.js, ej2pdfexport.min.js, 
An EJ2SVG base min.js are used to render the gauge item. EJ2 linear gauge .min .js renders the linear gauge report item. EJ2 circular gauge .min .js renders the circular gauge report item. EJ2 maps .min .js is used to render the map report item. EJ.chart.min .js renders the chart report item. Bold.reports.common.min.js, bold.reports.widgets.min.js, and bold.reportviewer.min.js are mandatory to render the bold reports report viewer. Now, let's configure the script manager. In underscore layout.cshtml, add the script manager at the end of the body element. Now let's initialize the report viewer control. The report viewer control can be added using the bold tag. Open the index.cshtml file from the view slash home folder. And add the bold tag. Report viewer requires report service URL, report server URL, service authorization token, and report path to embed the server reports. In the bold tag, enter the assigned value for the report service URL. The report service URL variable is used to store the report service URL. The service URL contains the server name, the service name, and the REST API name. The format of the report service URL is http colon slash slash report server name slash reporting slash report service slash API slash viewer. In this demo, I have hosted the report server in my local machine. So I have mentioned the report server name as a local host along with the port number in which I have hosted it. You can use your own report server name. Reporting slash report service represents the service name of the report server. API slash viewer represents the web API name of the report server. Then I enter report server URL in the bold tag. Report server URL is a variable which is used to store the report server URL. The format of the report server URL is http colon slash slash report server name slash reporting slash API slash site slash site name. In this demo, I have mentioned the report server name as a local host along with the port number in which it is hosted. You can use your own report server name. Site slash site one represents the site that will be loaded into the report in the report viewer control. Since I'm keeping my report in site one, I mention site slash site one. You can mention your own site name. Then I enter the service authorization token in the bold tag. The service authorization token specifies the personal authorization token, which is already copied from the report server. Then I assign the value for report path in the bold tag. The report path specifies the path in which the RDL report file is published in the report server. Here, I am using the sales order detail RDL report from the demo server location. This report is published in the sample reports category. Save the file. Now, everything is ready for previewing the report from the report server. To preview the report, build and run the application. You can see that the sales order detail report is loaded in the report viewer. We also documented the steps for loading the report from the cloud report server. The steps that need to be followed are the same, but only the report service URL and the report server URL will differ based on your cloud server configuration. I have shared our cloud reporting sample report service URL and report server URL in the presentation. Since the service for the cloud reporting is hosted separately, reporting slash report service is not mentioned in the report service URL. And since multi-tenancy is not supported in the cloud reporting server, the site information is not required in the report server URL. You also need to generate the service authorization token from the cloud report server and add it in the application. And add the path of the report, 
that we want to render in the report viewer. I have provided the documentation link in the video's description, for your convenience. In this video, you learned how to load a report from Bold Reports Report Servers, in an ASP.NET MVC application report viewer control. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on Bold Reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.